Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be doing a full face using a bunch of new makeup. Some of it's not new. Some of it I've used very recently. Some of it I used in my first impression drugstore video that I posted a few days ago, which I will link here. Just some stuff and I am excited to use it. This is gonna be a more chatty, get ready with me style. I'm gonna talk about the new products that I'm using as I'm using them. It's not gonna be like a full review or anything like that. I have some shite I gotta do today and I thought, fuck it. Let's just put makeup on, which I need to do anyway, to talk about life whilst we do it. So if you guys have not yet, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Friday? Friday. You guys can also follow me on all my social media stuff. Everything is Raw Beauty Christie. So Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. You guys know the drill. Twitter is the place where everything happens and I update it far too often, maybe 50 times a day. So, sorry. Half of you probably have me muted. <laughs> also give this video a thumbs up if you like this style of video and if you guys love these chatty get ready with me style things where I try out new makeup. I am excited because I've got some good stuff that I've tried before, some new stuff that just launched, some stuff I bought, and some stuff that benefits the world. So let's get going. I'm gonna start off with foundation and in my last video, you guys saw the drugstore first impressions video. I used the Maybelline Fit Me Doing Smooth but the color is way too dark. And so I got a package in the mail from a BoxyCharm I believe and it was a full box of IT Cosmetics CC Cream which if you guys don't know is one of my all time favorite foundations. You hear the word CC Cream and you think I don't want that anywhere near me because CC and BB creams are stupid. I know how you feel but I'm telling you with certainty, this is one of the most beautiful foundations I've ever worn. I would not call it like, like CC cream and BB cream, I always think of them and I'm like, that's gonna be very low coverage. No. This is the packaging right here. My fingers are chewed up to book right now because I have like this skin picking thing. I, I pick at my skin really bad, so don't judge me. I love the packaging of this. It comes in a pump and it is in like a squeezy tube. This is the color light. I've only ever used the color medium, but it's far too dark for my skin, so. Okay, so first off, it smells like fresh sunscreeny oranges. Maybe it doesn't sound like it smells that good. It does. It has the most beautiful finish. It has like a dewy, luminous finish. You can see the coverage is really nice. You know, I was actually at Sephora the other day First off, I did not know Sephora sold IT Cosmetics, was about to buy this. And I was like, Zach, should I do it? Cause it's like 30 something bucks. And I, I was like, Zach, should I get it? And he's like, you know, do what you want, babe. And I'm like, no, I, cause I still have some. I was just gonna get like a backup. So stupid. This is still a little dark for me being light. There are lighter shades downstairs, but I didn't grab them. And I'm glad I didn't buy it cause they sent every shade. Thank you so much, IT Cosmetics. And I believe it was BoxyCharm that came through. Thank you. So what I am getting ready for right now is I have a contractor actually come into my house today to give me a bid. None of them give you bids on the spot, which sucks. I wish they did because I, it would be really nice to know like what kind of range we're looking at, but they're all like, it'll be a couple of weeks to write up a bid, which I totally get, you know, you, you can't just write up a bid for thousands and thousands of dollars on the spot and be like, yeah, this is gonna cost $50,000. Like, I know, I get that. You know, one thing I'm really surprised by is the amount of contractors that don't have websites. Like I, I am constantly, constantly shocked at how there are no before and after pictures. There are no after pictures even. It's just nothingness. Like they don't even have a Facebook page. And I'm like, how the fuck do you expect me to know what you can do? And if I want to hire you or not, if you don't have a friggin' site for me to go off of. I mean, I just have, I have no idea what kind of work you can even do. Side note, if you are a business owner, get a legit website. And this is not sponsored in any way, shape or form, but I have found the best web building service that I've been able to find personally is Squarespace. When I had my website for my um, freelancing, I used Squarespace and no lie, it, I was able to build like the most beautiful website. I canceled it because I quit freelancing. Oh my God, if you're ever looking for like an amazing web hosting domain, it's inexpensive. And I had the most beautiful website, Squarespace. Again, not sponsored. They don't even know I exist other than that I paid for a website for two years with them. Oh, by the way, this is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the color Medium 30. I really like this concealer. Like I've seen a few negative reviews on it online. I really like it. It's replaced my shape tape in the last few days, that's for sure. Okay, so Thanksgiving is coming up. Anybody else dying of excitement? Uh, Cause I am. By the way, if you can see my tracks, you most likely can. Please don't say anything, I know. I wait all year for Thanksgiving food. I am not even kidding. It is home cooked meals like this are some of my least, fa my least favorite things. Some of my favorite things in the entire world. I 
love eating. If you couldn't tell, yes, I just lost a bunch of weight and I haven't been eating carbs. Oh, but, oh, but I am going to eat all of them. This is the Flower Beauty sponge that I used the other day for the first time and the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I feel like I need a lighter color. I do feel like this color is a tad bit dark. I think I might go in and get the lighter shade. Dying of excitement thinking about <laughs> eating Thanksgiving food. And you know what's sort of weird? People may think that I'm so weird for, for liking this, but I really, really like shopping for Thanksgiving food. I, I know other people find it like anxiety riddled. I love going to the store when it's like so full of people and it's like hustle and bustle and all the shelves are full of products that are for Thanksgiving. The end caps of the store are all filled with, you know, green beans and cranberry sauce. And I, I don't know, I just really like when the store is like so busy. It makes me feel like in the holiday spirit. <laughs> so tonight we're going grocery shopping. It's so interesting though. Tell me if any of you guys are like this at all, but I am a huge fan of holidays. Like I'm a holiday ass bitch. I really love, oh, okay, that's a weird, line in the middle of my face okay i love holidays and i love the feeling that they bring but when they're over i am so done with them like right now i couldn't be more excited about thanksgiving but the day after thanksgiving i'll be like glad that's over and i didn't even like do anything i don't know what that is but i have like a once the day is gone the feeling is gone and i'm ready to move on to the next thing that's how i feel about christmas I am the most Christmas ass bitch you've ever met in your entire life. Like my whole house turns into Christmas. I already have Christmas lights up. I'm about to put my tree up on Friday. Like I get an entire month out of that shit. I am the most Christmassy person you've ever met. Like I will listen to Christmas music all day, all long. As soon as December 26th hits, done. I'm, even December 25th by the end of the day, I'm like, take this shit down. I don't know what that is or why I'm so done with things when they're over. Like I, I hype it up so much in my head that by the time the day comes, I'm like, all right, let's be done now. I love to do as much Christmassy shit as you could ever imagine. In Washington, it's kind of quite a drive from me, but we have this thing called the Lights of Christmas. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. Oh my God. It is so festive and magical and they have like over a million lights. Last year we went with the whole family. It was so fucking cold, you guys. It was, I think it was 12 degrees outside when we went, real cold. Um, so way below freezing. We could barely walk around without dying. So we, they have like these big pits, like these fire pits placed every so often throughout the lights of Christmas. And we were just standing by the fire pits all night. Like literally there was nothing we could do to get away from them because it was so <gasps> cold. Those aren't the best eyebrows I've ever done, but I truly just, I just don't care. Let's move on to the face. I'm just, I know that I'm not using like new products for this, but I do have some new products that I'm going to try. I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics contour palette because you guys know I'm obsessed with it and it is a bronzer palette. And I'm not gonna say that again. Oh, but yes, I am so excited for the holidays. I just cannot wait. I cannot wait to eat food. Okay, so I'm gonna explain to you guys what we're gonna eat on Thanksgiving because I don't know. I have been on a low carb diet, lifestyle. I'm gonna live this way forever. And it's not a diet for me, it's definitely a lifestyle. If you guys didn't know, which you probably did because I feel like I talk about it every single day. With that, I don't eat carbs. So that's what I do. I just, I, don't, I eat high fat and low carbohydrate and that's how I'm gonna eat. My doctor put me on this lifestyle. It has helped me massively. I've been able to lose a ton of weight and just feel a million, jillion, quadrillion times better. But because of that, I don't get the most delicious foods in the world. And now I'm fine with that because I feel better not eating them and I'm cool with it, whatever. It is what it is. I'm going to let all of my low carb lifestyle leave me on Thursday, Thanksgiving, tomorrow, when you guys are watching this. So just know if you're watching this on Thursday, I am gaining a hundred pounds. I have certain foods that I don't eat any other time of the year because I'm like waiting for them for Thanksgiving. I'm using the BH Cosmetics Nude Blush 10 color palette. One of my favorite things in this entire world, fun fact about me, Marie Calendar. Call me Raw Beauty Calendar because I, not even kidding, I am obsessed with Marie Calendar's everything. I, one thing I was like, I will not have Thanksgiving without a banana cream pie. If you, <clears throat> wait a minute, just wait. If you guys haven't had a Marie Calendar's banana cream pie, you haven't lived. You think you know how good food can be until you've had it. If you haven't had it, you don't know what good is. I thought I had had good desserts in my life. I thought like, oh, different ice creams. Nope, you don't know what anything is until you've had it. And you must buy it a day ahead of time at least and put it in the refrigerator and let it thaw out because it comes frozen and you can't eat it frozen at all. You must let it thaw completely. I, I fucking shit you not when I say this. The first time I tried it, I was like, mm, I don't know. It doesn't really sound all that good. Took one bite. 
ate an entire pie. It, it, I'm not kidding when I say it is delightful, delectable. It has the perfect flavor. If I was on my deathbed and they were like, you can have one sweet food as your last meal, Marie Callender's banana cream pie. I choose it over everything else and I'm not even kidding. Everyone I've ever had try it like shits their pants. Like shit is, they're coming out of their pants at how good this pie is. You must try it. I'm telling you, you guys will, you will have a newfound respect for Marie Callender. She's a badass. Her, her banana cream pies, bitch, they are, they are so good. And then not even just the banana cream pie, but there are pot pies, Marie Callender's chicken pot pies. I don't even have chicken pot pies. Turkey pot pies. Oh, bitch, my mouth is watering. I haven't eaten today. Oh, that sounds so good. So I am gonna use this today because I wasn't able to use it in my last video and this is the Sleek Highlighting Palette. And so now we're starting with the new makeup. It comes with this little brush and I'm just gonna... So I'm gonna go in with this shade here. Okay, uh, wasn't expecting that. That is not the color it appears that it will be. This looks very, very, almost purple. Like it's very, it's interesting. Wow, it's highlighty. But like in an interesting formula, I don't know how I feel about it. It's going for a little bit more golden and this, this color, look, look at the color in the pan. It looks to be like a champagne-y gold color, but it goes on the face kind of purpley, pinky. Okay. I'm gonna spray my face with this first because I wanna see what this does to my skin. Well, let's hope it's good. This is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. And I just got this, I believe it was from BoxyCharm as well. Okay, so this, I've heard you wanna spray it far from your face and shake it fucking good and like spray it right after you shake it. Oh, bitch, look at that spray. Oh, it's like a finest mist. Okay, wow, the, the mister is so fine, you guys, watch. Oh. Did it do anything? I don't know if it did. I feel like it's not even getting my face wet. Should I do it more? Should I just put on as much as I want? I mean, like, fuck it. I can't feel it. Why can't I feel it? I can't feel it. So I'm gonna use this, cause I haven't used this in a while and I see other people using it and really liking it. And I feel like I just didn't give it a fair enough chance. I used this, this is the Ofra Makeup Fixer and I used this in, uh, my makeup products I hate video and I said I hated it because of the smell, which I still uh, believe in, but I wanna just, let's see. I don't hate it, okay? The smell is actually pleasant. It's just overpowering and I have, I'm headache prone, so. But that Cover FX spray is so weird. I'm gonna use it again. <laughs> it is so fine. Okay, I'll tell you what it feels like. It feels like a baby is holding your face and going, it feels nearly like nothing. For my eyeshadow, I want to use a palette that I just purchased and it is the Morphe 39A Dare to Create palette. Um, use code, I don't have a code to save 0% off. It's so funny because when this came, Zach opened the package and was like, Morphe sent this and I'm like, no, I bought it. And he was like, oh, it's so pretty. And he was like holding the packaging. He's like, it looks so good. And he opens it and he's looking at all the colors. I'm like, okay, first off, you are precious. Second of all, I agree because this palette is gorge. This is what it looks like here. And it's got obviously like your more interesting colors on the bottom, blues and greens. And then it's got your warm tone shades on the top. It's got this cool middle, which has a lot of transition shades, which probably could be face powders as well. And they might even be, but you know, I don't know shit about anything. I just think that this would be a really amazing Christmas gift or a really good product to, for new makeup enthusiasts or makeup enthusiasts in general. Shit, I have like 500 palettes and I was super into this. So, so it does come with a sheet with names on it. Um, I will be probably losing this in about 11.7 seconds. I'm gonna start with this shade here. 
I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I literally love their eyeshadows so much. They're so good. One of my favorite palettes in the world is my Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, if you guys wanna see a review on that, I have it right here. But it is such a phenomenal palette. It has such amazing pigmentation. Probably go in with like, I don't know, that or something. I don't fucking know, man. I feel like I'm gonna do a halo eye today. You all know I love me a good halo. Halo! So I'm just taking that on a Sigma E40 tapered blending brush. Shocking, I know, never used this brush before. I am just kind of buffing that on the inner and outer portions of the eye because a halo eye, the center is lighter. I know you guys are waiting on the Kat Von D uh, Satan Center palette review. I just, oh, the thought of pulling out that palette and saying everything I wanna say about it is going to take me hours to film. I might film it tomorrow so that the video is ready sometime soon, but Oh my God, I have a lot I wanna say about it and a lot of stuff I wanna talk about. So it's been a little difficult to get that video up for you. So my eyes don't look blended in the slightest right now. Now I'm gonna go in with um, this shade here. I think I'm going real warm today, guys. I know, shocking. These are pigmented in a very beautiful way. I was going through the comments last night of the video I made about chronic pain. If you guys have not seen that, I will link it up here as well. Wow, I was reading through some of the comments and I am blown away at, first off, how many people freaking deal with chronic pain and that hurts my heart so bad to think that so many of you are going through such hardships. I hate it so much, but I applaud all of you so much for your positivity and for leaving your comments and and how kind you're being in the comments to one another. So I'm gonna go in with this color, I think. Let's borrow this color. On my Smith 230 brush. This looks so unblended. I really don't know what I'm doing. It's me, like it's not the eyeshadow palette. Oh my God, we just finished watching season one of The Punisher. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet. No spoilers, by the way. Oh my God. God, it is so good. If you guys have not seen it yet, it is brutal as fuck, but it is so good. I'm not lying, it's on Netflix. Oh my God, if you guys haven't seen The Punisher, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, uh, Iron Fist was pure shit, but whatever, it still ties into the universe. And then The Defenders, you must. And then of course The Punisher, like that's number one. I shit you not, it is so good. Okay, now I'm gonna go with this black shade down here. I'm gonna dip gently into it, tap off the majority of the excess. In person, it looks fine, but on camera, it looks so unblended. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not blending this eye look very well. I feel like I'm kind of just haphazardly doing shit, but I think I'm going to go straight up warm, and I'm going to dip into this shade here. This is our internet. Let's use the power we have before they take it away. So you guys probably just heard it because I probably added a little bit of a clip in there. So it looks like December 14th voting is gonna happen on net neutrality. If you guys don't know what this is, um, I'm going to link a video in the description of this video and I will try to link it up here if it lets me. Hey guys, editing Christy coming at ya from the day you were watching this. Um, so when I was originally making this video, I was talking about net neutrality because I just kind of heard about it for the first time and I was like, holy shit. I explained it totally incorrectly when I was trying to tell you guys what it is. I am going to read you real quick what net neutrality is, why we need it, and why we all need to fight to keep it. Um, you've probably seen a lot of this going on on the internet because yesterday this blew up and went viral because basically the CEO chairman of the FCC announced that they're going to try to basically dismantle uh, net neutrality. And so I'm just going to tell you what it is real quick because you hear the terms net neutrality and you're like, what the fuck is that? Net neutrality is the internet's guiding principle. It preserves our right to communicate freely online. Net neutrality means an internet that enables and protects free speech. It means that ISPs, i.e. Comcast, Verizon, all these internet provider companies, should provide us with open networks. It shouldn't block or discriminate against any applications or content that ride over those networks. Just as your phone company shouldn't decide who you call and what you say on your call, your ISP should not interfere with the content you view or post online. Without net neutrality, cable and phone companies could carve the internet into fast and slow lanes. An ISP could slow down its competitors' content or block political opinions it disagrees with. 
ISPs could charge extra fees to the few content companies that could afford to pay for preferential treatment, relegating everyone else to a slower tier of service. This would destroy the open internet. I will have links in the description of this video that explain why we need net neutrality, why this is important, and yesterday I tweeted out a bunch of links about this. The thing is, it's really easy for you watching this right now to not do anything about it because it's like the election, and I'm just gonna use this as an example, regardless of what side you voted for, I think that it's pretty clear at the time how people feel about the current president. I'm not getting into political debate, I'm just saying. People didn't even register to vote this year, and a lot last year, people didn't even register to vote. A ton of people didn't even vote, but then everybody complains about the current president. And it's the same situation, people go, oh, there's no way he's gonna be president, and then he, is if you all have that mindset that means y'all didn't vote and then this is what fucking happens not everybody cares about politics but everybody that's watching this right now has the internet this affects every single person that's watching this right now if you have the internet and you're in the united states you need to care and so it's as simple as texting 50409 which is resist bot you need to text the word resist to 50409, if it doesn't get back to you immediately, it's probably because it's been so overused in the last couple of days, which is a great sign. That means that people are caring. What ResistBot is, is it's a computerized service. It's gonna ask you your name, your address, and it's okay to give that information because it's gonna draft a letter, you write your letter, and it drafts the letter and sends it to your local representatives for you. So mine in Washington is like Maria Cantwell, Jay Inslee, all the different, uh, you know, congressmen, and it will fax them a letter from you saying like, hey, we need to continue to keep net neutrality, we need to protect it. They they are the voice for us. Whether or not they care or listen, it's really important because if you want your internet to be able to stay searchable, like you could have to pay extra to use sites like YouTube. You could have to pay extra if you want to watch things like Netflix and without it rendering and loading and buffering the entire time. Some of you may be like, oh, no big deal. Like, oh yeah, I'll do it. No, actually do it. I know that a lot of people won't call Congress, but a lot of people will text in to resist bot. And I think yesterday alone, they sent like 100,000 faxes to different people around the United States. So please, 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 please care and talk about this and let people know about this because on December 14th, they're gonna be voting and if they know that we are so outraged by this, hopefully they'll vote for the right thing and we need net neutrality. We need, need, need it and we need to stand up for it. So anyway, that's where this is gonna end. We're gonna go back to makeup, Christy, and I thank you guys so much and definitely read up on it. All right, I love you, bye. Okay, so I just got a package in the mail and it was from ColourPop and it is actually the Laura Lee Los Angeles collaboration with No Kill LA. If you guys don't know anything about this, it's for a really good cause. So the proceeds for this go to No Kill LA, which is a shelter in Los Angeles that apparently saves animals from their dire fate, which is amazing. And I guess they have a really nice facility and they're a really good company and they're really trustworthy. And all the proceeds from this collaboration, from what I understand, go to that organization. So that is pretty freaking cool. Kitties and puppies need to be saved and you guys know I'm all about taking care of those babies. So I'm gonna toss a little bit of one of these on my eyes because I would like to, you know, support the animals. In the collaboration, you get a box that says here, ColourPop and Laura Lee Los Angeles. And these are four Super Shock shadows. And we've got the color Ritz, which is right here. This one is Glitz, Shiny, which is, the color's not shiny in the slightest, Hiney. And I'm gonna use Hiney today to put all over my lid to see if I can get a little bit more shimmer because from the Morphe palette, I wasn't able to get much. Oh, that works. From what I understand, um, Super Shock Shadows are about five bucks a piece, I think, but you can get the entire set for 18, I think. This color is really pretty. It has like a really nice glitter in it that, ooh, that looks really beautiful. Shit, I like that. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this color as well, which is Ritz. And this is the shade here. That just looks like more glitter, but really pretty. 
I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to pop on my lashes and today I'm going to be wearing the Coco Lashes in the style Risqué, which is all I wear lately because they are absolutely perfect. And I will be right back to finish off the rest of my face. All right, and that is with the lashes on. I really like this eye look. So maybe I'll use one of these new ColourPop lipsticks. These also came with the Laura Lee and ColourPop collab and there were three liquid lipsticks. A gloss here and then a metallic liquid lipstick and then this color, which honestly I just feel like is too much for me right now. Maybe I'll just go with a gloss. I haven't done that in a while. That is quite glossy. It's got like a shit ton of sparkles in it. You guys see that? I'm gonna put a little bit of this color in the center of my lips, which is the color Glam. And that's an interesting look that I'm doing today, but I actually like it in person. It coming off really pretty in camera. It looks a little intense. Well, that's pretty much it guys. Um, I really like everything I tried today, honestly. I mean, I am not a huge fan of the sleek um, highlighter. I'm shocked about that, but I just feel like the color is not what I was going for. I was going for more of like a champagne pop style feel. And I thought with what I saw there that it would be. I am so excited to go grocery shopping tonight for Thanksgiving food. I know that sounds so weird, but like I am so excited about it. So I'm gonna go. I love you guys so much and I will link everything that I used in this video in the description. I hope this video was kind of fun. Just hanging out, talking about really, really random shit. I'm not gonna see you guys again before Thanksgiving. So have an amazing Thanksgiving with your family if you do celebrate it. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm so thankful for you guys as well for being so incredible. And I could not have a more amazing supportive community here on YouTube. You guys are community. People say that YouTube community is dead and I would have to disagree. I feel like we are all friends here and we're inclusive here. Like everyone is welcome unless you're a mean dick, then fuck off. You, you know that. All right guys, well I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Have a happy Thanksgiving and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Before we get started today, make sure you subscribe to my hairline. Where's your red? Oh, fuck. Way more pigmented than I thought. Oh, damn it. Okay, you can literally fuck off. Okay, that little hair just wants to lay right there. But you know what? You're gonna. But I love to do as much Christmas shish. Christmas shish. -ish. Ooh, yeah. But... Ah! In my A bitch for how kind you're all being in the comments to one each one each other but for <gasps> what the hell was that